The plans are in progress right now. Thoughts on the playoffs? Laker fans, Nets fans, who you guys have? What are you interested in this uh, this season's playoffs? Man, it's hard not to ride for my team. It's, it's I don't. I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about the play-in games. I get it from a, an organizational standpoint of like how how they do it in, in NCAA, where it's like imagine if a 10th seed won the NBA championship. Like that's exciting, but it's like also I don't care. I just want the Lakers to play well. That's, that's another way for the league to make up some money for them games. Right, right. And so that's I, it's even been hard to follow. Like when I first saw the bracket, I was like, so wait. The eighth seed, you win the eight, and you go there. And then the seven, seven eight, you go the there. Winner gets seven. The and loser of get, seven eight plays the winner of nine ten. Yeah, to get eight. And it's it's a lot, oh, it's it's a lot, lot. man. It's, I don't know if that's sticking past this year, but thoughts on your team that you uh, on their chance um, battling injury coming in the playoffs. I'm not getting my hopes up, man. As as it's been bad. Just know it's you got bad. two players that hurt. Uh, tsunami, hurricane, anything can happen. They still got a chance. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it is one of those things where like you, you, you can't count out Bron. Like it's hard to ever Never. count him out. I mean, I've, I've, you know, every we've all watched him play for the last like ten years like a monster and just defy so many mm -hmm. odds and come back from three one and do all the things that like you just, you just you can't count him out. But I mean. Father time, man. You can't. It's coming. It's, I, I mean, I don't got to tell y'all. Like, it's, it's, oh, when yeah. you play he that real. high level long enough, eventually your body's like enough. He's been and, in his prime his whole career, which is insane. Yeah. And so, I mean, I'm hoping we not witnessing that, like, him, like, start to creep over that thing just yet. But, you know, we all know it's coming. Holly like, Jalen's wife said he's setting it up. I'm hurt. I beat Steph. And I went, he's setting up the whole oh, he's little, doing, he's yeah, yeah, you know, Braun's mm -hmm. smart he's now. He's, he's setting you know, it up. I thought about that, too. He's, I was like, I wonder he if he's just He might be setting like, it up, bro. He, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> he playing the injury game, and yep. then he's going to come back and just, Beat like, Steph, what then I win did. the championship. Man, how, how big would that be? He was catching lobs and doing his old shit he was doing when he was 19. So, Braun is Man, very he strategic. Right, yeah, he's going to be straight. Yeah, I think uh, it's really, the Lakers aren't so much the question. I think the question for me is, what really do these other teams have? Is Phoenix legit? Is Utah legit? Are the Clippers legit? Like, are these teams, when it when push comes to sur shove, are they really ready to make deep playoff runs? You got to realize when there's teams right now that are looking at a wounded Lakers and they got blood dripping right here. Yeah. <laughs> they can't wait to get them. Yeah, I'm with it. I, I, I do think, though, have to have the Lakers as an eight or a seven is Scary. just like a nightmare. It's and they would be favorite. It's entertaining yeah. though. It's so right. entertaining. And like if they would nightmare. be favorite, that'd be crazy. And imagine them coming from a seven or eight seed. I, to me, in the Western Conference, and um, CP's my guy. They're the two seed. But I wouldn't be surprised if there was a, a, a one eight or a two seven upset in the playoffs this year. I don't think the top, from a conspiracy standpoint, can really handle, you know. The, the, the meat of the pack has been there. The top of the pack hasn't really been there. So I wouldn't be surprised. In the Eastern Conference, you guys like who you guys like over there? Well, I mean, the Sixers is... Sixers, Nets. Like and the Nets, Nets, man. The Milwaukee. Sixers and the Nets. Milwaukee. See, to me, Milwaukee is the sleeper to me in the Eastern because they've flown under the radar. They've always been the one seed with, you know, the, not always, the last couple of years and haven't achieved that. But now they've been under the radar working on different lineups. Giannis is the monster. If Giannis can be that regular season guy in the playoffs. Holiday. Holiday. And at the end of the <clears> season, season, they yeah. beat Brooklyn yeah. twice. Mm -hmm. So this is the thing for me, like in the East, obviously if Brooklyn is healthy, Brooklyn is the favorite. No in the question. East, right? But the East has some really interesting wild cards. Like for example, Miami has the experience, mm -hmm. right? Miami has the experience. Miami has guys who have been there. They just made a run. Yo, the Bucks have a kind of weird favorable matchup with the Nets. The Bucks can defend with the Nets and I'll score them and and I'll score them. So the Bucks, can, the Bucks, they they don't have. It's not a favorable matchup, but it's a weirdly good matchup for them. Holiday can be effective mm -hmm. in slowing down Kyrie. You know, you can use Giannis a little bit on Durant. Um, I'm not saying anybody's going to stop those guys, but it looks like like on his face that they maybe be able to compete with them. You know, in in, in a series. For me, the interesting thing is how good is Joel Embiid. <laughs> Like, how good is Joel Embiid? I think he's a motherfucker. Man. I know, I know he is a motherfucker, but, like, oh. is he – is Joel Embiid right now Shaq in 95 or is he Shaq in 2001? You know what I mean? Is he, is he ready to take 
over Shaq has always been a dominant force. Right. But at one point it was a fucking joke. joke. Two, yeah. Two thousands. Yeah. It was yeah. a joke. Right. It's Joel and B ready to take completely over. Because if he is really ready to be that guy, if he's that guy yeah, now, then like you, you, then then they're, then they're dangerous too. It's just hard to pick against yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah, because he damn. is he is unstoppable. Bro. Oh, we haven't even mentioned my my favorite team in the whole league now. My favorite team in the whole league. To me, the guy who is the league MVP. I, like I like I love watching the Knicks play. Man, stop! It. Julius <laughs> Randle is the. Oh nah, he balling, he balling, but MVP and Julius favorite team to Randall, watch. You tripping? I love watching the Knicks. Oh, I understand that. Where you where you originally from? I'm from Louisiana, Baton Rouge. And how you get to uh, being a Laker fan? Uh, because we lived out here for a couple of years, like a year and a half. And I remember my dad had this contract, and the guy they couldn't like let my. Dad, I, 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 I had to ask you that. Like, like, they couldn't like seriously. My dad was a semen finisher out here, and he had this contract with this guy. And the guy was like, "Look, I can't meet that number." But my brother just gave me some Laker <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and, 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 and my dad's like, hey, you want to go see the Laker game? Man, I won the day, man. You want to go see the Laker game? And we go see the Laker game. I'm, I'm looking around. This bitch, I'm like, I'm sitting there. I'm like, yo, is there a senior hall? And man, my dad's like, yeah, yeah, famous people come to these games. I'm like, yo, this shit is a fucking amazing. Why would you be? And, and we didn't have a team. So I've been on the Lakers. Man, I don't fuck that. People always do that to me. I suffered with the Lakers through the Sedell uh, 3 era. I suffered through the Sedell 3. I suffered through the Lakers. I was the, the Robert Sacre era when we when we like had like fucking, you know, D'Angelo Russell was the, on. The sink was shipping. The, the, the ship was sinking. Yeah, I was like, shout out to D'Angelo Russell. I'm not done. But you know, that whole, mm -hmm. like, I was with them. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a Laker fan. But the Knicks... Bro, I love watching D Rose do his thing, bro. I love watching. Yeah, I do too. Friend, I do I too. I love watching these guys, and they they play so inspired. But don't expect much. They, they you, don't, you don't expect much from the Knicks in the playoffs. I don't expect them to come out the East. Well, they're not gonna come out the yeah, East. Yeah, it might it might be entertaining to watch them play a couple games, but you know, let's let's <laughs> let's slow down now. Shout out to Coach Tibbs though. Yeah, Shout man. out to Tibbs. Great turnaround.